our following contest is the number one contenders match, and it is scheduled for one ball. First, allow me to bring to the ring our first competitor's personal ring announcer.
and his opponent from Sniper City, USA, weighing at 205 pounds, the sharpshooter, James Contenders match. This is our semi main event. The undeniable Nick Diamond with Uncle Drip Drip Willie the Bomb Richardson. I'll tell you what, I, I, I am going for uh, Diamond. Anybody that has Willie in their corner, I, that's a plus right there. I, I agree with Willie being a plus, but this is the sharpshooter James Creed. He is the first person that was able to pin. A historic title reign from Nick Cutler over a year. Dethroned him. Regardless, both of these men, Nick Diamond, a former Indiana State champion. Creed, I, I believe he's won every title besides maybe that Indiana State title. You have experience with James Creed in the ring. One of your last runs, you. Absolutely. Had some fantastic matches. Great, great competitor. So we had a really good match. You, out of anybody, would know the heart that James Creed shows. I'm not taking anything away from Creed at all. But uh, as you said, having Willie the Bomb in uh, Nick Diamond's corner, that is a major, major advantage. It sure is. Because we all know that Willie is not afraid to get his. Hell, Willie trained. Help train the workhorses and Nick Diamond for that matter. Willie's been around a long time, man. He truly oh, is nice the buff. Yeah, beautiful drop kick. I, I expect this match to be more technical than any match we've seen tonight. Both these men, look at that. He dropped hold right into a headlock. Took the words out of my mouth as he was doing it. You know, J uh, JPH has an open challenge tonight. The winner of this match could very well be the person that or answers that challenge. That was very nice. Shades of the Von Eric. I will say this about Willie. He is a better manager than he is a window. Cannot see through. That glare off his shirt. It's blinding. That gold. Very blinding. Oh, Creed just did a handstand out of whatever Nick Diamond is ahead of him. No, no. Go! He said an expletive that I won't say, but I will say at the beginning. Say class is in session. Oh, no, I'm dead. Well, as he said, class is in session. What a stiff uppercut. Oh! oh! I think he could have hit him a little harder, but it nonetheless got the job done. Oh! Big jumping. Oh! Now those are the types of traps that I feel hurt the most. It was. You can just feel the thud. Heavy-handed James Creed. 
who surprisingly lost his title last month against JPA. Oh! Diamond with a big chop. Chop of his own. Oh. Right across, across the road. Dragging him across. Flat top not really doing his job, but can't be surprised. I'm sure he's still reeling from what happened to Josh. Oh, three turn him in the corner. Oh, and another chop. Poor Nick Diamond's gonna look like he has hamburger meat for her chest. Huge, huge uppercut. You know, Nick Diamond likes to say that no one can shine him. Well, I think if anyone's gonna outshine him, it's gonna be the shark shooter, James Green. Bail to the outside, Nick. Is that a Willie with a shiny shirt? Nicky, <laughs> that is true. Uh oh, there he goes. He's flying. No! Oh, oh. Did Nick caught him? Oh, no. That was impressive on he, Nick Diamond's part. He did his part. homework. Nick Diamond's not a stupid guy, man. He's not. He is a student of the game. He eats, sleeps, breathes professional wrestling. Doesn't matter what you want to say about him. He's talented in and out of the ring with his wrestling. Puts in the time and the effort. But the same goes for James Creed. Yeah, you can't take anything away from Creed. You can't take anything from either of these guys. This is honestly about as even as this match would get. Crowd firmly behind Creed. No shock there. One, two, three. He on the ropes. Oh, now he's arguing with Flat Top. Like I said in Judas versus Josh, a villain's worst flaw is always monologue. It always comes back to bite him. Let's see if it comes back to bite sure him. When you're facing a guy like Creed, you can't not, yeah, you cannot give him a, a moment to breathe. And there he is, posing for the camera. Can't do that, man. Yep, we saw that. Especially James Creed. Stay on him, get on him, that's it. All it takes is one flatliner. And one bullseye. He has an arsenal of moves that it will not take much to put you away with. And he hits him out of nowhere. Oh! Ooh. Big slap. That was pretty nice. I forget what he calls it, but that was very nice. I believe he calls that the Fury Bomb. Yes, thank you, Flag. I knew it was something Fury. Let's see. Staying on him, choking him. Flat Top's actually doing his job there. Good job. Yes, absolutely. But to be fair, the the space that he's creating doesn't seem to be hurting him quite yet. But you never know. A nice choking him on the ropes. Black Hot's getting him in there. A five count. That's all right. Beautiful sunset flip. Almost, Almost a three. Oh! Turning Creed inside out. You know, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if that would have been a three if Nick would have been able to pin him right away. But I think Creed might have might not have had all that sunset You got a good point there. Very good point. Yeah, very good point. If he would have been able to cover those shoulders, we'd probably be seeing a winner right now. What is going on tonight? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with the workhorses. You know I'm, I'm pretty sure hell has yeah. frozen over tonight. Right? That little girl gave me money and she was wearing your shirt. That little girl gave him money. Well, if I gave him a dollar. <laughs> What's going on? Well, Give me a dollar. You know what the draw is around here. What is... Oh, 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 
was there. I have never seen Curry do the first fireman's carry. That, is, is there a name for that movie? I don't know. I like it. I want to see it again. That Almost, was amazing. Like Creed just never ceases to amaze me when he's on the ring. Getting better and better and better. I mean, Absolutely. the best I can think to call that is a reverse Samoan drop. Yeah, reverse Samoan, almost into like a cutter almost. He is trying to get the crowd behind him. Let's see what happens. It won't take much to get this crowd behind James Creed. Forearm, forearm. A big Russian leg sweep, roll through, and the big bullseye elbow. Hit him on the bullseye, right in the nose. Only a two count. Nick Diamond showing the heart that he has. He wants a shot at that ARW World Heavyweight Championship. I think that Samoan drop might have done more damage to Diamond than anything I, else because he was clutching his shoulder after that Russian leg. I'm sure it did. He's oh, picking him up. Like, Slips out the back. The He's going for that TKO. No, he hit it. That was a very nice move. If he covers him, that's got to be it. Get out Away with that move. I think he took too much time though, one, two, and Kurt kicked out. That split second between Once again, catching his breath in the cover is what gave Creed enough time. As we've said time and time again, do not give a guy like Creed that much separation. Oh, oh flat top, flat top pushed him. Oh my god. Oh my god. One, one, two. Two and three quarter. That was so close. Yep. Big fireman carry. But for everyone, I mean, in a match like this, you're gonna have to throw everything you can. Both of these guys are tough competitors. But I, I know that Creed wants to have the opportunity to get his hands on JPH one more time after the events of last month and the month before. I'm not sure that was a close fist, but I don't oh. think it matters. That one was definitely not a close fist. Just a sh oh, go for the oldest blender in the book. Misdirection. Shoot up. Ducks the line. Let both men down. Little flat top begin to count. He's gonna suck in some air. What if this match ends in a double or like a draw? Then who do we who goes on to face JPH? Both these men? Neither of these men? Well the kip up by Diamond. Kip up by Diamond. Alright, uh, I think I think we know it's coming next. And there it is. Calling the kill shot. He's calling for it. He has James Creed in his bullseye, what one it. would say. Sir, this might be it. Oh! Creed reversed it. Oh, wait for that. No! The flatliner. One, two. Ring the bell. Oh, that's the bell. From my angle. Go no, like this it. Bout. And your new number one contender. Oh, there you have it. There he is. Well, there he is. Your champion. Your, your, your winner. Number one contender. If JPH retains his title in the main event tonight. We have Here we go. Willie does not look happy. Willie never looks happy. I wouldn't be happy if I was wearing that shirt either. He's going to turn around. We Willie just calling him out. It's, we've seen Willie use a, a police baton on people. Is that going to happen right now? Well, Willie is no joke. Absolutely not. He's taking everything. Here we go. 
Here we go. It's really about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with James Creed right now. Take it out of the way. Listen to your guy. And do you think Willie's having those second guesses? No, he, he's not. He's playing the mind games. I don't blame him. That's the bomb there. And there you go. Your winner, James Creed. A hell of a Number match. one contender now. I'm excited to see who he's going to face, which comes up next.